DNA evidence could be key to solving the shooting death of off-duty Racine police officer John Hetland. Tom Durian is in the newsroom with the latest on the search for the suspect. Yeah, Charles, the Kenosha County Sheriff's Office, which is now leading this investigation, says they have received hundreds of tips on the case and they're following up on each one of them. But it is DNA evidence from the scene that investigators hope give them a solid lead, possibly even a suspect, if the DNA leads to someone already in the database. Now you'll remember forensic crews spent hours combing the scene at teasers inside the bar and the neighborhood behind the bar. All of that evidence collected is currently on its way to the state DOJ crime lab for testing. One thing is definitely DNA that may have come from the suspect. Uh, uh, it may be evidence of, of fingerprints. It could be, could be almost anything. There was a struggle that went on there. Uh, we're, we're looking for DNA from the suspect. That's, what, that's one of the biggest clues we're looking for. Today, all over the area, memorials to the officer are growing with more flowers and balloons outside the police station and then signs all around the city. The crime lab is going to dedicate workers exclusively to this case. They are hoping for a solid lead within the next few days or possibly within a week. Back to you, Carol. Okay, Tom, thank you very much. The man involved